We are back with Dan to Dan episode nine. And I've got to be honest, this might end up being my favorite anime that I've watched this year. I just feel like it's a great mix of amazing animation, funny ass shit that's happening in it. Deep emotional moments have also happened. I like just pretty much the whole direction of it. So let's get into this next episode. We left off on kind of a cliffhanger. They were in the middle of some shit. It looked like the pink haired girl. I can't remember her name, but she basically has the powers of acrobatic silky, which I guess makes sense because she connected them with her spirit hands and gave the aura over to the pink haired girl, which I, I guess at the time I didn't really think about it, but you assume would include her powers. So let's dive in. Let's see how the rest of this plays out. An acrobatic silky? Just not in English. Okay. Click. This time, I'm not going to blame Crunchyroll. This was actually because we're doing the Yu Yu Hakusho, and that's in English because the dubs are what most people tend to watch it in. So it makes sense that it was that way this time. I'll, I'll give them a break this one time, but just this once. <laughs> Wait, that means my man is naked? And she... Listen, I'm going to be real with you. Like in her previous state, I'm sure my man would have been on board. But seeing this face, Okarun ain't never going to be up to the occasion. I promise you. That shit's creepy. <laughs> and then in the background here, you got this weird boxing dude and Sneeko. They just watch it from the corner. They just need a chair and everything would be all set. <laughs> oh, that's right. They were taking his clothes off. <laughs> My man is desperately looking for a pair of boxers. <laughs> Yo, my man's cheeks just went flying through the air. This is a crazy episode already. And we're what, like a minute in? <laughs> I feel like that's some shit Sneak always say too. <laughs> Oprah, you gotta find some clothes and do something. <laughs> <laughs> Balls out and all. Like he's covering it, but I don't know if this is some shit that I'm supposed to show on YouTube or if I'm meant to put like a block over it. Cause th it's like, we're, we're borderline some shit right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, they got my man with the cheeks up. <laughs> Yo, this is a wild scene because when you really think about it, my man is sitting here ass up, arched and all right in her face, basically. So she can see not only my man's balls, but she's seeing straight up his butthole. Like that's what's going on right this moment. And I can't help but look at it that way. Then you got this Hitmonchan thing over here, punching him in the back of his head, rocking a thong. What did, who, who designed this shit? This is, yeah, I mean, listen, this is great, great. Like this is. This is theater right here. So I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm here for it because it's funny, but holy shit. <laughs> is it Granny? Oh. <laughs> That's my girl Momo. I'm ready for this. Yo, the characters in this are so engaging to me. Like, I love this show. I really do. I'm convinced that this is probably going to be one of my, if not my favorite show of this entire year. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Cheeks up again. Did he not just take out his penis and it went into that man's head? 
It's wild to think that this show literally just had an episode two episodes ago that brought tears to my eyes. And yet now I'm talking about how this man has a fire hose like penis with a drill bit on the end that just went into this person's head. That's how you know this is amazing writing. It, this is it's amazing. There's I, how else can you look at this like that? I, you can't make this shit up, or you can because they did. Ooh. Oh shit! They're, oh whoa, they are mighty close for him being completely naked like that. Like he basically rubbing. Oh shit, yo, hey yo, Momo not gonna be too happy about this one. Facts. <laughs> Yeah, this might be one of the craziest episodes I've ever seen in my entire life. What is this? It doesn't seem like the aliens are in on this either. What is it? Who is it? <laughs> it's Nessie. <laughs> One thing that has happened in the majority of these episodes is these two arguing like a married couple. They are in love. And they are destined to be together because they already are acting like they've been together 30 plus years. My <laughs> man's over here risen. I like it. W game. Just let my man cook. They look a little suspect. <laughs> my man just fell into one of the greatest situations ever. I mean, listen, it's not good because you, you're being chased by shit that's trying to kill you and, you know, take your banana. So don't get me wrong. Like, there's bad things about this, but in this moment, you've got two girls with you that are stripping naked because it's easier to move. Couldn't have planned this one better yourself, my guy. I'm just being honest with you. You got to roll with this one. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> this body cable, whatever you want to call it. This is such a wild episode. Ooh. I think he almost got done dirty. Oh, you in a bad spot. Why are you asking? Can we punch you to death? Is, is that okay? Because we don't want to wait for you to drown. We ain't got the time. She said, bitch, please bring it. I like it. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't necessarily gather the logic behind what just happened. I get where she said he'd have imploded from the impact of his own punches if he tried to go all out, but on land it can never unleash a punch at full strength. So basically what she's saying is that if it punches at full strength, it would implode off the impact of its own punch because it's that much stronger underwater. Like I get what she's saying, 
but I guess I don't get why it would make them implode. Is it because they mixed with other beings and it's much bigger than it normally would be? And so it, it changes the dynamics of things when it punches that hard. I don't know why I'm overthinking this so much. It's really not that serious. It happened. Move on, you know, next scene. But I, I just, I guess in my mind, I didn't really understand that because I assume, okay, it punches harder underwater, but we know that because it's able to punch that hard underwater, not because if it did it, it would implode. That makes sense what I'm trying to say. My man bringing his girl to safety. Wait, did they kill it? Is that it? He's got, yo, the toes is curled. <laughs> the cheeks is out, toes curled. That's a wild scene. When you really think about it with the toes curled, that's crazy to me. I feel like they inevitably are leading you down a path of thought. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. There's no way that they ain't have this in their mind when they did this. And we're like, yo, this should be kind of funny. Let's do this. There's no way. Yo, y'all realize the position you're in, right? <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> ah, they did my man dirty. Yo, look at my guy down here on the bottom right. He he between the dude's legs with a phone recording from the side. It's even one of those old school flip phones where it's like 240p, but he is, yo, listen, I got it. it. Regardless of how it looks, I got it. That's wild. I didn't expect this because when they went there, it was nighttime or like there was no school. So I just assumed they were back same situation but apparently they're back during a school day and it looks like they doing some things <laughs> and she said <laughs> that was an amazing end of the episode i absolutely loved this episode but as far as where we're at right now I mean, that's your girl at this point, right, bro? I mean, the whole school saw y'all bumping and grinding. Whether or not that was what was really happening, that's what it appeared to be. Your toes was curled, you on top of her, y'all laughing, talking about the floor, and it, it just, y'all basically effed as far as everybody's concerned. So, it just, you know, just, it's your girl. And I'm curious how the other girl's gonna feel about it because she wants him too, and hey, two girls in, work hard enough, you might get the granny which I'm upset was not in this episode because that's my girl. I literally watched this and look forward to her, but you know, it is what it is, but he's, he's building himself a little harem. Just being honest. We'll see where it goes. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you thought down below. I will catch you in the next one, homies.